What's up, everybody? It's Critical. Like many of you out there, I don't watch a whole lot of TV anymore. That's not to say I don't use it. I'll still hook my computer up to it and throw shit on it from there. Even my parents, as technologically inept as they are, don't watch a whole lot of what's on TV. They just hook devices up to it. Albeit, they do it in some type of weird Frankenstein manner. They take some weird-ass cables. They'll have, like, an Ethernet cable running through an AV splitter, which quantum tunnels into the back of the TV somehow. It's a fucking mess, but they get it to work. Point I'm making is, no one really watches what's on TV anymore. Gone are the days of getting high with your friends and channel surfing and staring at the TV. The tube, as they used to call it. Now it's all about snorting crocodile alone and staring at water bottles. However, sometimes when I eat breakfast or just any meal throughout the day, I'll flip on the TV to just have some background noise. I have two months free of HBO and they play Jimmy Neutron every day, the 2001 Jimmy Neutron Boy Genius movie, so I've seen that bitch six or seven times. It doesn't get old, but today I tried to mix it up a little bit and I turned on some regular cable. I wanted to see what the news was like these days, so I went on Fox News and by God, I couldn't have chosen a better day to do it. I was given this beautiful nugget of comedy. Yeah, excellent. All right, I see that this have is... Have you going. guys ever even watched the Super Bowl? Yes. I'm starting to feel like you have it. Yes. I just bought a toilet. It's a Super Bowl. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I did. I got a new toilet installed. This, uh, on yesterday. Greg Gutfeld, more like Greg Gutbuster, truly delivered one of the best knee slappers I've ever heard. Now I can acknowledge it's a thinking man's type of humor, it's very subtle, it may have gone over your head if you're not an avid high IQ Rick and Morty fan, so I'm gonna go ahead and play it again. Keep yeah. Excellent. All right, I see that this is- Have you guys ever even watched a Super Bowl? Yes. I'm starting to feel like you have it. Yes. I just bought a toilet. It's a Super Bowl. <laughs> that is the face of a man who is content, who knows he has slayed his entire audience with perhaps one of comedy's best one-liners. Every muscle in his face is tightening up in unison, and it literally looks like my asshole when it's losing a battle against holding back a large shit. Now, I found this clip on YouTube. It doesn't have the entire segment here, but it has a decent bit. I got to witness the entire ethereal beauty of this segment live. Well, I guess not really live, because I don't think Greg Gutfeld's show is live. Maybe it is. I could be wrong. I can't say I've caught up on my Greg Gutfeld lore. I've kind of missed a few arcs in the manga. But what I saw confirmed to me that TV is dead. Absolutely dead. Fox News must have taken the absolute most cookie cutter show and people that could find and got the most bare bones, awful jokes that could possibly have shoehorned in here. If this is all improv, then they've got the worst improv actors from the middle school across the street. This was something I could have never expected, and it was beautiful. Let's give this an encore. Keep partying. Yeah, excellent. All right, I see that this Have is you guys ever even watched a Super Bowl? Yes. I'm starting to feel like you have it. Yes. I just bought a toilet. It's a Super Bowl. <laughs> that one just really got me fucking. It's a joke you can hear a million times, and you'll always giggle. It's a real side splitter, a real wide shitter. If I had to give any critique of this masterpiece to the man who has clearly mastered his craft of comedy, I would have to say I don't like how he goes on to justify that he indeed purchased a new toilet. You're not fooling me, Greg. I know you didn't buy a new toilet. The joke was beautiful. You didn't need to go into any type of explanation. Come on, don't backpedal on it. Everyone knows you didn't buy a new toilet. And if you did, then I want you to prove it to me, Greg. I want you to show me that new toilet. I want you to show me the receipt with the date on it so that way I can confirm whether or not you did indeed buy a toilet. But I know you didn't, Greg. I know you won't take me up on that challenge. I know you're probably not even going to give a shit about me issuing that challenge. But hey, who gives a shit? Let's go ahead and play that beautiful joke one more time. Keep yeah, partying. Excellent. All right, I see that this Have is you going. guys ever even watched a Super Bowl? Yes. I'm starting to feel like you have it. Yes. I just bought a toilet. It's a Super Bowl. <laughs> I just bought a toilet. It's a Super Bowl. Mm. <laughs> <laughs>